Hello, it is Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. I'm Chris Primo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Wednesday puzzle, of course, today, which means a little bit of a step up in difficulty, perhaps, a themed puzzle, um, and a midweek puzzle, midweek difficulty. And this midweek edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Saxon, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in sustaining this channel and this series. I do very much appreciate it. And if you'd like to join their ranks as benefactors and get access to the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And of course, there's a link in the description field underneath the video. And uh, thank you to everybody who's backed the Patreon campaign at any level. Of course, doing that gets you access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones go up that go up each week. And they, uh, well, they, you, my patrons of any level, keep this whole series going. So thank you so much if you are one of them. And of course, you can find that at patreon.com slash And uh, do subscribe to the channel, regardless of your patronage status, and you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server in a link in the description as well. Um, also, like the videos, tell a friend, etc. Okay, let's get on to the puzzle. This, as noted, is a Wednesday puzzle. It was constructed by David Tufts, who has constructed around half a dozen crosswords for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Let's see what we have in store. Oh, okay, good. I thought I didn't start recording, but I have. I'm on video. All right, here we have Blank Turismo Racing Video Game Series. This is Gran Turismo Racing, long-standing racing video game series. And to fly off the shelves is to what? Go fast, maybe? I don't know if that's correct, but let's check the crosses. Cry before I did it again. Oops, I suppose. Is, is I guess, a cry sort of in a general sense and... Also in the Britney Spears song of the same name. Uh, one carrying amps and such. A roadie, right? So someone who helps a band while touring. High school exams scored from one to five, and HS is abbreviated, so the answer to will be abbreviated in some form. AP test, advanced placement test. Cyb cyborg. <laughs> some sort of cyber organization, I guess. Um the National Security Agency, I, I presume. Uh, 19, oh, here's probably one of our theme answers. 1987 thriller featuring the same characters as TV's Californication. I have no idea. I didn't know that. I don't think I, I mean, I sort of vaguely remember that series, but I don't think I was aware that it was based on a film. That's interesting. Um, what about, oh, oh, look, oh, may, oh, maybe it's not. It must be a pun because here we have 1992 comedy featuring the same characters as the film Secretariat. It's an anagram. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. Secretariat is an anagram of sister act. So when we say the same characters, we mean literally the same uh, characters, sort of same alphabetical characters as featured in the title of the film, Secretariat. Very go, very good. So Sister Act is a 1992 comedy. And what is this? I don't know. Thriller, Fatal Instinct? No, there's no S in going that. Um, fatal Attraction, there we go. Fatal Attraction is a film. Oh, very clever theme. I, I don't think I've seen this this kind of thing before. Um, this particular sort of theme construction that's very clever. One might be bald-faced, a bald-faced lie. And bandmate of Lennon, McCartney, and Harrison would be, of course, Starr, Ringo Starr, the drummer of the Beatles. Gives a once-over. Scans, I suppose? Minor problem, a snag. You might describe a minor problem as a snag. And a candy bar that snaps. A Kit Kat? Oh, maybe this isn't scans. Because a Kit Kat is sort of, it's almost sort of the chocolate equivalent. Of, it has the chocolate equivalent of perforation, where you can sort of break it apart. 
Um, I think that's probably the answer. Is this, yes, vex, to vex somebody is to irk them. So to give a once over to, oh, skims maybe, you give a, a, a text a once over, a once over you skim it. The Adams family cousin is cousin it, the character from the Adams family. And to sully something is to damage it, to mar it, to sully it, to, um, you know, dirty or damage. Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Titan is Saturn's largest moon, indeed. And Travolta film with a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I don't know. I, I know that Travolta made that film Battlefield Earth that was extremely poorly regarded. I did, obviously doesn't fit. Um, period follower. Oh, I guess in this case, dot follower, dot com, I think is what's going on here. And don't take it seriously. Don't take it seriously. I'm not sure if this is in the idiomatic sense, as in don't take something seriously, don't treat something with a high degree of gravity, but rather I'm wondering, it could be a sort of a punny thing. In other words, seriously, don't, don't steal that thing. Um, but it doesn't have a question mark, so I'm guessing not, at least on a Wednesday puzzle. Event at a convention center. It could be an expo, but let's check the crosses. Great deal. A ton? Great deal. Not as in an offer at a store, but rather quite a few of something. A great deal of it. Overindulged as a brat. Spoiled. You spoiled uh, the bratty child. Overindulged them. Survey used an election night coverage. An exit poll, of course. So what was this? Don't take it seriously. A jest. Okay, so it was simply meant in the idiomatic sense. Don't um, don't let this hurt you, I suppose, uh, metaphorically. Volkswagen offering a Jetta is a Volkswagen. So the Travolta film with a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes is Gotti. So there must have been a, a biopic about about the, the uh, mafia boss. And actually, that's funny. Gotti was in, was in the crossword just the other day. I don't remember... I, I'm not sure if this was the same film or, or not. It probably was. Okay, with 26 down, syrup source, a maple tree. Maple syrup, of course, a famous syrup, particularly from Canada and Vermont. Critical hospital areas are ERs, emergency room, uh, what you'd call A&E here in the UK. Jingle bells, preposition, or as in over. Tangy is tart. Flavor could be tangy, a tart, tangy flavor. Uh... I remember hearing someone argue once that tangy has no meaning. It, but, but I think it does sort of mean tart, doesn't it? Yeah. can't remember what their... I wish I could remember what their argument was because I remember thinking, I don't think I agree with you, but I, but I, underst I sort of find what you're saying persuasive even though I ultimately don't agree. But I can't, I can't remember the body of their, their argument. Classic... Oh, sorry, what an absurd thing to say. Someone said something to me and I don't remember what it was. Uh, classic Porsche... Oh, a Porsche, is it a Carrera or something maybe? A model of Porsche? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. C56 down. Okay, let's, let's do that. With 36 across, Caitlin Olson's role on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Okay, so in terms of things I have or haven't seen, here's something I have seen. I have seen quite a lot of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And Caitlin Olson plays uh, D, the character D Reynolds, Sweet D. Reynolds. Okay. Mattel acquisition of 1997. Oh, Tyco is a toy company, is it? I didn't know it was acquired by Mattel, but fair enough. Classic Porsche. Okay. It still could be, still could be Carrera or something like that. Carrero, maybe. I don't know. Capture net, maybe simple as that. Kimono. Oh, no, 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 not net. <laughs> Nab. Because a kimono accessory, it's sort of sash for a kimono is an OB. And a cocktail garnish could be an olive on a, a martini, for instance. Um, particularly a dirty martini, I suppose. 1990 action film featuring the same collateral, same, sorry, same characters as the film collateral. So it clearly ends in call. It's not, oh, is it total recall? It is. Okay. That'll be it. And I have, oh, I have seen the film total recall, by the way. And I've seen the film sister act. And I think I've seen episodes of the TV series Californication, but I think in each of these cases I haven't seen the the paired one. So I'm I'm 
sort of 50-50 on these, I guess. Okay. Place for un chapeau. So a chapeau in French is a hat, and it goes on your head, which is tête in French. Wyoming's uh, Teton range, the Tetons is a mountain range. And key, key next to Q, well, if we glance down at our keyboard, we can see the tab key is next to Q. Low voice, a low, uh, low voice um, in the singing range would be a bass, uh, which is what I sang when I was studying music in university, but I think these days I'm more of a baritone. Okay, person whose name is followed by Esquire. An attorney, A-T-T. -T. And heavy metal... Is a load, maybe? Like, is in a sort of find of metal underground? I don't think that's right. Heavy metal. I mean, it obviously could be music. It could be a heavy metal in the chemical sense. It could just be something that weighs a lot, but I'm not sure. Classic Porsche. Okay, my, my sort of vaguely remembered career vowel is looking okay, but I'm still not sure. Probably, probably an E here. It's too dark. Yes, it is. It's too dark in here. I can't see. Okay, that was straightforward enough. Love song singer Borellis. I mean, I've heard of Sarah Borellis. I don't think I know the song, but uh, the name is familiar. So there we go. Heavy metal. Oh, lead. Lead. Okay, sure. Heavy metal. Lead is a heavy metal. There we go. And right. So this is either an A or an O, I think. And 2003 Marvel movie featuring the same characters as TV's Riverdale. Marvel movie. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't know. What are some Marvel movies? I can't even think of any that look like they would fit here. Oh, Daredevil, I bet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Riverdale. Yeah, that one's actually sort of, it even sort of sounds like the other word. That's funny. Um, I've not seen Daredevil, and I think I maybe saw sort of half of the first episode of Riverdale, and it wasn't determined. It wasn't for me. Okay, Franklin in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Aretha Franklin, the great, the great soul singer, Aretha Franklin. And when Cannes hosts its Festival du Film, <laughs> so um, this, uh, the, the, so, most of this clue is in English, of course, but the Festival du Film is sort of suggesting that we're going to be using the French language for this. So, été for summer is when the Cannes Film Festival is held. Uh, and, of course, Cannes is in France. So, community spirit could be an ethos or an ethic. I can imagine it being either of those plausibly. Let's, let's look, keep looking around. Siren. And what about this place for flyers? Over hmm. prophetess in the Torah. Well, this isn't going well for me over here. Siren. I mean, there's a sort of figure. There's kind of if you imagine a siren, not in the sense of a klaxon, but rather uh, a sort of woman, a, a, um, a woman who deploys her char, who's extremely capable of deploying. A sort of charm offensive, then there's a there's a kind of stock figure called the vamp, which is you, you know referred to in film and things like that. Um, I'm trying to think of good usage examples, and I honestly can't really think of any. But it's sort of sort of a siren archetype, I guess. It's sort of an archetypal figure, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So that might be the answer. So what about this place for flyers? Oh, a no. A aviation, something around an aviary? Right, because birds could be kept in an aviary. There they there we go, and birds fly. Um peak. Ire? You have a bit of peak, a bit of ire, annoyance, anger. Oh, so prophetess in the Torah, Miriam, I want to say. That sounds that sounds right to me. Well, what do we have here? My my, maybe? What do we have here? My my. Twit to a Brit could be a Pratt. <laughs> it's a nice sort of assonant little bit of phraseology. Twit to a Brit, a Pratt. Um, ba, ba, ba. I guess I guess twit and Brit actually rhyme. They're not just assonant. Um, ba, ba, 
more than enough, plenty, and record figure RPM, because you describe the speed at which vinyl records revolve in revolutions per minute. Okay, uh, 1952 musical featuring the same characters as TV's Stranger Things. Right, so here's Singing in the Rain, a film I have seen and also have seen some of Stranger Things, although uh, after the lost interest after the first season. Okay, community spirit. So it is ethic or ethos. Um, dads. Okay, so ethos, because dads is plural in this case, and papas, it looks like. Hammock activity, you could take a nap. And journalist Ida B. Wells. And only state whose seal was designed by a woman. Emma Edwards Green, 1891, the state of Idaho. That's interesting. Wow, only one. And... Uh, barbershop sound book could be the snip of the scissors. And emo emotion could be angst, maybe. Uh, emo, the official rock subgenre of the New York Times crossword, I would say. Okay. Fragrant garland could be a lay, a flower garland associated with Hawaii. And tennis's Rafael Nadal, the tennis player. There we go. Actor McKellen, Ian McKellen. And Box the Well-Tempered Clavier, which is a, a famous sort of, um, I don't know what you'd call it, a suite or a sort of series of, of pieces by Bach, a book of music. Uh, Mont Blanc or Matterhorn. Each of those is an alp, a mountain, in the European mountain range, the Alps. And its moves include the Shirley Temple and Shim Sham Steps, tap dance, I suppose. Okay, they're blowing in the wind. Uh, veins, as in weather veins, and push-up targets for short are pecs, pectoral muscles, and beach bottle letters are SPF for sun protection uh, factor on sunscreen, and then here we have a guitar bar is a fret, which are the, the little metal bars used to delineate notes on the neck of a guitar, and there we go. That was our puzzle. And uh, I really, I really enjoyed this thing. I thought that was really, it was really fun to try and spot these anagrams. Um, definitely something at which I am no expert. Um, uh, it's an incredibly important skill in solving cryptic crosswords. And uh, I have a lot of room for improvement, but it's a bit easier in this case than it is uh, in most cryptic crosswords because we're working from, well, one, I think it's often easier when they're longer because the well, no, that's not necessarily true. I think the combination of them being longer and being proper nouns, specifically films, it's a very limited set of possibilities, and we were even given the release years. So that was that was helpful. So we had Californication, which anagrams to Fatal Attraction. Sister Act, which uh, anagrams to Secretariat. I just did those in opposite order, sorry. Total Recall, which anagrams to Collateral. Daredevil, which anagrams to Riverdale, and finally Singing in the Rain, which anagrams to Stranger Things. What an what a impressive set of finds. I mean, Singing in the Rain and Stranger Things, that's just I mean, these ones, these long ones, like Fatal Attraction and Californication, I mean, that's amazing to me. Because they don't really sound the same. Whereas Riverdale and Daredevil, they sort of sound they have similar phonemes. Um Total Recall and Collateral, a, a little bit. But Fatal Attraction, Californication, and Singing in the Rain, Stranger Things, they're just completely unrelated. So I'm, it must have been quite a lot of work to find these, to go through all the possibilities and come up with enough, because you'd also need some, you know, you need Fatal Attraction and Singing in the Rain, Rain to be the same number of uh, characters, because they need to be symmetrically disposed in the puzzle. Same with Daredevil and Sister Act. I mean, it's just finding enough of these that, that all work and fit the constraints of a crossword grid. It's very impressive. So well done to David Tufts. I really, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. And oh, I actually, I don't know if I highlighted any clues from yesterday's puzzle. I think I forgot to, to, to do that process. So let's just see if I can quickly find any. Um, So Dragon Traces corrects my pronunciation of, oh, it's, is it a mana? 
the kitchen brand, not Amana. I never would have known that. I think in my brain, I pronounce it similarly to Amarna, which is uh, um, you know, from Egyptian history. Uh, but um, you know, I didn't, I didn't know. another pronunciation note, in fact, from Nix Hicks, who explains the city that I think I pronounced something like Terre Haute, uh, Indiana, is pronounced Terre Haute with a long O, like hotel, Terre, Terre Haute. So there we go. Thank you. And um, I think those are the only corrections. So, okay, not, not too much today. But there we have it. And that was the video for November 9th. That was the crossword for November 9th and a couple of corrections from yesterday's puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday puzzle when the theme takes a bit of a step up. And today was a pretty great theme. So hopefully that means we've got something impressive and fun in store for us tomorrow. The only way to find out, I suppose, is to, well, you can solve the puzzle yourself or you can come back and join me for the video again. I hope you do that as well. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Uh -huh.